Welcome to today's cuts. Here we have a piece of Chalcedony, really dark, dark gray. And it's mixed in with some common opal and some rhyolite on the other side of it. There's actually a little bit of pyrite in it. You can see it down here. Some sparkles to this material in certain areas. It was a little bit of a surprise, like I wanted to cut it as long ways as possible. You could tell the outside looked like rust. And uh, there were some rhyolite floaters on one side, so I didn't know if it was going to cut good, but yeah, it was real solid in there. And I got another side of it too. Really happy with it. I mean, the pyrites are cool because I haven't found pyrite ever before, but cutting open something with pyrite was nice. Looks like we're dealing with some severe sunlight here. What's up, Billy Buddy? So what else was cool was um, I tried to get into some of these quartz feldspar. Some people call that graphic feldspar. And there was some mica inclusions that were heavy. Definitely see that one. Some black tourmalines. There's actually garnets in there. You see the red? Some garnets up in there. It's a pegmatite rock. And what that means is it's a you know, basically magma came up and it intruded into the land and started separating out some crystals crystallizing out some of the uh, rocks so those are black tourmalines charl we actually found some smoky quartz which I don't think I've ever even featured on my channel it doesn't seem that rare, but it is. It's like, even my Rockman says it's not that easy to find that smoky quartz anymore, so. I'm stoked on that. Also, cut a piece of feldspar up that looked like it had some cool red pattern in it. And I was right, it ended up being real cool. That one was borderline. <laughs> Definitely had some purple and some mic on it, though, so made it in. Real proud of that black Chalcedony. Like, that's so cool looking. Alright. Gotta go to work.